Hi, hi everyone. It's the Lost Orchid, also known as Marissa Flora. Wait, that sounds really stupid. Okay, anyways, hi, hi, it's Marissa, aka Celeste Orchid, and today I got a package in the mail. I got really excited when I got home, so I opened it, so beep. And as you can see, it's from Japan. Is it from a friend, follower? No, I actually made this purchase when I saw someone make this dress, and I said, I have to have that fabric. So I went on Etsy and I found the fabric of choice. And it comes in this cute, she sent it in this nice bag. And I'll show you exactly what fabrics I got. I spent about $60. And all of it, all of this is actually pretty decent size. So I'm not upset. And if I am upset, then yeah, I'm going to punch myself later while I watch this video. All these videos are really made for me. But if you want to watch it, thanks. <laughs> okay. So the fabric that I saw the first time of course, if you can kind of not tell already, is the Disney Tsum Tsum fabric. And it has all these little Tsum Tsums on it. So you see Jack Skellington, the alien, Princess Elsa, well, Queen Elsa, really. And I mean, it just repeats itself. And I got like a good meter of it. Like if you look at me, expand it here. Um, it's really large. It's about my arm length. So it's my arm length to my shoulder, so that's a lot, and I can probably just make this into a skirt or a pouch or something. Um, I definitely will be making this into a dress for a future time, or maybe a time of Disneyland, maybe. Um, but yeah, this is the first fabric, and I found this fabric because of, I believe her name is Loli Kawaii. On, or kawaii on Instagram and I saw her make a pink dress and then I also saw her make the blue version of her dress and I died. I'm like if I don't have both of these fabric colors which is really rare for me to buy two of the same fabric but in a different color other than a cotton and both of these are cotton so if you can see they're identical they're exact same but the background color is a cyan and then like a carnation pink um, and as you can see it has the Disney sign here so Disney and then Disney Tsum Tsum and there's Tinkerbell here and then there's Marie the cat, Pluto, uh, Chip, yeah it just goes on and it has all the Tsum Tsums if anyone knows anything yeah I'm in love with Tsum Tsums I have a problem so the blue one's the same size amount I got two of the um, things that the lady was offering. So it stretches from my arm here to my shoulder-ish. Oh, this one's a little bit larger. Okay, so this one's going to be definitely a bigger A-line skirt. And of course, I will be making matching ears with these. And I absolutely can't wait to make this into an outfit for work. Um, oh! Oh my god! Look! At the Mickey butt! This is literally what it looks like to have a Mickey butt Zoom Zoom. And it's the cutest thing ever. If you haven't already, go to Disney on YouTube and watch their Zoom Zoom videos. It is sugar cute, diabetes cute. Ah, <laughs> you just have to watch it. Cool. So as you saw when I first showed you the bag, which I got really excited. I shouldn't have done that. Um, I ripped it up, this cellophane bag open and holy crap, she packed this really greatly. So thank you, Miss, Miss Lady from Japan, I think if you're a lady. Yeah, Megumi Ishida. Oh, this is really cool. I really like this. This is really cool. Ishida Megumi, Ichi no Tsubamachi, Mitsukishi, Niigata. Hmm, that's pretty awesome. But yeah, so she sent this out 7-7, I believe, because she had to get the materials and such. So, continuing on with our really cutesy wootsy theme, I actually got this material for multiple reasons. My coworker Robin, who also I gave the Baymax Tsum Tsums to for her daughter, she really, and both of us, we died when we saw this fabric. We're like, that's a perfect picture. I hope someone screen caps that and makes a meme out of it. 
Okay, so I hope that was long enough for you guys to make a meme out of that. If you do, send me the pictures. I don't care what it says. It can be anything. I'm doing it again. Okay, no more freeze framing. Sorry. So anyways, back to the story. Um, ooh, this is not that great of a material. She folded it really differently. It's only one side of the material, so it's definitely cut in half. And if it was folded over, it'd be nice. But holy crap, I love this. Um, this is a checkerboard Alice in Wonderland. As you can see, there's the white rabbit, but he's silhouettes. And there's hearts. And then there's teacups. There's the cards, crowns. Like, I can't even sew this up this way. No, I wouldn't sew it this way. This looks stupid. It, it does look really stupid. But I could sew it probably this way. Holy crap, I can! It just looks really stupid because Alice and the Rabbit's upside down. You know what I mean? But if I sew it this way, the crown is upside down. So technically, there's no wrong way to wear this. But I promised to make a knitting bag for Robin. She'll be really shocked. But I'll show you guys a preview video of that when it's done and such. But I absolutely love this material. It's a definitely thicker cotton weave. Uh, a lot thicker. No. Yeah, it's about the same thickness as the Tsumi ones. I definitely like it a lot. What, what does it say here? Oh, well, obviously there's not enough yardage to show me what it is. But it says, girl story. Girl story. <laughs> I am a girl. <laughs> okay. Last but not least is my super duper stupid cute Lolita kind of like material, which I think is totally appropriate. So not because I'm dissing on brands or anything, and I do like brand, my brand is Angelic Pretty. And do I have the money for Angelic Pretty all the time? No. I don't have $300 to spend on a freaking adorable dress that I can't wear every day. I would totally wear it every day. Anyways. I bought this adorable bunny. Okay, you can see my horror now. As this is only good enough for a fucking apron. Sorry, my manners. But it's so cute. I freaking love rabbits. I could probably make this an inlet. But it's cherries. Cherries. And bunnies. This sucks. Okay. Now I gotta go out to frickin' Joann's and find me some frickin' cherry fabric to match the rabbit piece of salvage that I got. Although, I think it's so adorable. I'm a bunny. Need a bunny foo foo. So, okay. I have to admit, I got cheaped out on the rabbit one. So, let's review, shall we? Before this video gets too long. I got two really great buys with the Tsum Tsum fabric. I believe it was about maybe 10 bucks each or something like that. Um, yeah, so these were like 20 bucks each and these are Disney brand titles. If you look here at the salvage, it says made in Japan. So made in Japan and Disney. And Disney Pixar, Disney based on Winnie the Pooh. Um, it says it all here again. And then it says Minnie and... No. Winnie the Pooh works by A.A. A. Milan and E.H. Shepard. Nihon Wa Disney Store. Okay, I can't read that kanji. It's kind of beat up. But you get the point. So I definitely love these two materials. Highly recommend for any seamstress out there. Disney Seam Seam number two fabric. Totally worth the buy. And don't regret any of this purchase. Because this is going to be one hell of a skirt. Or I can make it into something else. I really wish that I got more of this material. Which is the Alice in Wonderland print material. Honestly, like, I'm so sad that I only purchased this salvage bit. And it was only, like, six bucks. So, like, 
20 and 20 is 40 for the Tsum Tsum fabric. Six bucks and then another six bucks. So that's like $50. And then with stupid ridiculous prices for shipping, come on. Um, yeah, it comes out to be 60 something. But I mean, I really wish that I got this twice as opposed to this cheapy, if I can grab it. This cheapy flimsy cotton with the cute little bunny and cherries. Okay, not gonna lie or hold back anymore. I almost regret this, but I don't because I really don't see cute bunny fabrics like this in America. That means you textile designers need to step up your game. There are plenty of people out here that are seamstresses, beginning seamstresses or something like that. People that want to learn how to sew. And this is the age of nerds and technology and like I thought I heard something, so I just went quiet. It's not that I thought lost my train of thought. Or maybe I did. Oh, um, so it's age of crafters. That's right. We have Pinteresters. We have makers. We have crafty, craft zeners. We have people out there who thought that they weren't good enough to make things that are. Just look at cosplayers. Look at all those people that got onto that show face off. Like, holy crap. Some of these people really freaking amaze me. And you know what? To all the beauticians out there that are Instagram famous and everything like that, you guys are artists too. And same with you people with hair. Okay, I'm getting too long with this video. I hope you liked my fabric haul from Japan that I picked out over Etsy. I highly recommend you guys doing it too. Thanks. Remember, if you like this video, let me know. Bring me a thumbs up. And you should give me a comment of what you thought. And share the love.